A relative of a former Catholic priest in Sussex has called for the church to remove and destroy his headstone from a Surrey cemetery after revelations that he was in fact a paedophile who'd abused a young boy. Canon Dermot Fogarty worked in the Diocese of Arundel and Brighton for 67 years. He died in 2012. Now an author has written a book detailing the abuse he says he suffered at Canon Fogarty's hands when he was 11. Our special correspondent Colin Campbell reports. This is Canon Dermot Fogarty five years before his death. He was a senior Catholic priest. Seen here meeting the Pope, he spent his entire life working in churches across Sussex. But in this book, it's claimed he repeatedly abused a vulnerable 11-year-old boy. Canon Fogarty's closest living relative now wants his headstone, which rests in these sacred grounds, removed. I want it destroyed. I want it destroyed with a sledgehammer so there is no record of what is on it in existence and there is no chance of it being left propped up somewhere. In his memoir, Oxford academic Stephen Bernard says the abuse perpetrated by Canon Fogarty started in 1987 and lasted four years. He claims he endured more than 300 separate sexual attacks from the cleric and after being assaulted, he says he was forced to confess his sins to Canon Fogarty. Although this allegation was never proved in a criminal court, it's clear to anybody reading about it and reading the description that uh, Stephen Bernard gives the account that he gives. It's, it's very clear that this is a, an extremely serious uh, and extremely credible uh, set of allegations. A wise priest much loved by his family and all who knew him. Deirdre McCormack chose the wording on the headstone and paid for the memorial. In the name of the Father. His funeral in 2012 was attended by many senior clerics, including the then head of the Catholic Church, Cardinal Cormac Murphy O'Connor. Tributes paid in the packed church thanked Canon Fogarty for his great contribution, but the Catholic Church in Sussex was aware of the allegations before Canon Fogarty's death. They insist proper safeguarding procedures were followed. Was it right to allow this funeral to proceed? No, it wasn't right at all. The accolade, the funeral itself and the honour that was given to Canon Fogarty, knowing what he had done, is atrocious. Deirdre is herself a survivor of sexual abuse, targeted by this Catholic priest, Father Terence O'Brien. She hopes the removal of the headstone will help Stephen Bernard move on with his life and ease his suffering. Colin Campbell, BBC South East Today.